week we got first place at Sheer Talent. Now, did we win because we were good? Or did we win because I hacked the Candy Apple Dance Company's GPS and took them to a Hooters in Newark, New Jersey? I guess we'll never know. Nia, you got first place in your solo, which puts you at the bottom of the pyramid because when you did that ponche, you reminded me of a woman I once met in Las Vegas, Nevada, who stole my iPod Nano. Paige, you're next, because even though you did a good job in the group routine, I know that if you and I would have gone to elementary school together, you would have been a bitch to me. Mackenzie, your acting in the group routine was horrible. You were supposed to be a prostitute in an 18th century brothel, but you looked like a five-year-old doing the Macarena at a roller rink. Brooke, you were good in the group routine, but missed a day of rehearsal because you were taking the SATs. I don't know what that is, but if I had to guess, it's probably a pyramid scheme your mom made you join so she can make more money to buy tequila. Kelly, I hate you. Chloe, you were amazing in the group dance. You were stunning in your duet, but you are not at the top of the pyramid because how do I say this nicely? When I look at you, something inside of me lights on fire and I feel the urge to stuff you and your mom into a tiny circus cannon and shoot you into a tank of stingrays. And I'm sorry that your mother is a piece of garbage. Christy, I hate you. And at the top of the pyramid, going three for three, Maddie, you'll be doing a beautiful lyrical piece this week entitled Flower. It's about a little girl who's kidnapped. She's forced into a cult. She becomes addicted to drugs. She escapes. She realizes she's gay. We need to see that with your eyes. Kendall, you're not on the pyramid. You're still on probation because I hear that last week at competition, you're crying backstage. You are seven and a half. When are you going to grow up and stop sucking on your mother's teeth? Abby, I think Kendall was just upset that she wasn't included in the STD trio. You know, I had gonorrhea in college, so this dance was very important to her. Jill, shut up. Now, I know none of you go to school because I won't allow you to, but it is Black History Month. So the group routine is entitled Dream. Maddie, you'll be playing Martin Luther King. Nia, I'm going to have you sit this one out. Okay, moms, out of the room, girls, get and go on, please, a second. Okay, Maddie, arabesque, and when you come down on that right foot, I want you to look at the judges and pretend to smoke out of a crack pipe. Chloe is a solo this week, but she hasn't learned a single eight count of it. She doesn't have her music, and she's currently being used as a table for Abby's bucket of chicken. Christy, you know, my little Kendall wasn't even considered to be the chicken table. Chloe gets a lot of opportunity. Oh my God, Jill. Melissa, will you just admit that Abby is setting Maddie up to win? No, no, Christy, I love all the goose. I love dancing. Melissa, respond to what I said. You know that Abby favors your daughter. No, Christy, all the goose are good dancers. I love putting my goose in pretty dresses. Look, Chrissy, I got engaged. Melissa, you are the fakest woman. Chrissy, help me. I'm on the phone with my lawyer, and he says if you don't stop talking to me, I'm going to have to sue you. Chrissy, please help me. I do want to sue you, but this mean lawyer man is making me do it. Kendall, sweetheart, I want you to go in there and say to Abby, I would like an opportunity to be the chicken table. Okay. Okay, go. Can I have the opportunity to be your chicken table? Maddie, come here. Do you see this photo? Yeah, that's a dead body. This is one of 900 people who died by mass suicide in a cult. This is who you're representing in this piece. Abby, when is Chloe rehearsing her solo? Christy, what you fail to understand is that I am training working professionals. Do you think that when Chloe auditions for the Rockettes, she's gonna get an hour of rehearsal time? No, she's gonna learn the combo in 10 minutes. She's gonna trip on a cord walking into the audition room and crack her head open, be airlifted to UPMC Mercy Hospital, and then she's gonna spend the rest of her 20s working at a Ruby Tuesdays, where guess what? The manager ends up being John Wayne Gacy. Did that happen to you? That's it, I've had it. I am sick of you moms trying to run my studio. I'm done. Where are you going? I'm going to the police station. Christy's going to jail. For what? Being a ding dong. Well, Kendall, your hat fell off and ruined the entire number. No one was even paying attention to Maddie's beautiful portrayal of Martin Luther King because your hat was Sinead turning across the entire stage. And guess what? Your hat's feet were still more pointed than yours were. Maybe I should give your hat an LVC jacket and let it be on the team. Abby, she got a little offbeat when her hat fell off, but besides that, she did great. Kendall, I was 
in the audience of a theater when a set piece fell and severed a man's head, and he still finished the show as a decapitated Sweeney Todd. Oh my God. Girls, Nationals is three weeks away, and I don't know who I'm gonna bring. If you don't step it up, let's just say I have seven girls and their mothers ready to replace you. They've been in the janitor's closet of my studio for a month, and they're hungry.